So Tom, one of the things I hear a lot and, and, uh, and understandably is from parents is, you know, I, I want my kids to be happy. You know, I want to do everything I can to make my kids happy. Totally. Um, you know, how do we help them with that? Like, what does that look like? Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's the mantra of our era. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. I deserve to be happy, I just want to be happy, I just mm -hmm. want my kids to be happy, and mm -hmm. you know, happiness is a result that's not, you know, you can't grab it. Yeah. Um, I, 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 let me answer that by talking to half of the kids. Cool, all right. Probably a bit more than half of the kids, yeah. okay? Because chances are mo most of the kids are gonna probably want to get married one day. Mm -hmm. And even though there's more single people than married, many of those single people have been married. Mm. and it didn't work out for one reason or another. So mm -hmm. uh, I think you have to start parenting from the end. Mm -hmm. and you have to okay. see the end at the beginning, right? Okay. Yeah. So if, if, if we're going to see the end at the very beginning, we go, I want them to be happy. That means they're probably going to want to get married. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we can talk about raising single kids another time, but yeah. these are going to be the same. Yeah. Yeah. These are going to be the exact same whether your kids end up getting married or yeah. not. But yeah. I'll take the marriage one because okay. the three reasons why people's marriages don't work are mm -hmm. money, sex, and in-laws. Mm -hmm. Money, sex, and in-laws. That's not going to make them happy when they divorce. I want my kids to be happy when they grow up. So uh, what can I do now mm -hmm. to mitigate, to alleviate, to prevent yeah. that misery, that pain of divorce later? Mm -hmm. i got to talk to them about money, sex, and in-laws. Mm -hmm. So just real quick on the sex one, you know, the thing about the Me Too stuff is uh, we can stop that. Yeah. The Me Too stuff we can stop. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have the, the, the secular world doesn't have the desire to stop it because mm -hmm. of what it takes to get there. Yeah. But if you want to stop it, you know, if you stay a virgin till you get married, you won't be messing with anybody yeah. beforehand. Yeah. That is not an impossibility in this day and age. I know everybody thinks it is. <laughs> yeah. But Jesus said, set the bar high. Mm -hmm. Grace for when you don't make it, mm -hmm. but set the bar high. There's all kinds of practical things you can do to help your kids mm -hmm. stay virgins until they get married, right? It, 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 if when you're married, you have that foundation, you can have amazing sex, you're gonna mitigate the me too business, right? Mm -hmm. um, when, when, when you teach ki people, kids, to deal with their temptations, sexual or otherwise, with the power of the Holy Spirit in biblical ways, yeah. you're gonna have a whole lot more freedom, mm -hmm. right? And if, if, if someone has molested me from the past, right, and, and I can find healing in Christ, I'll, you know, abusers turn up to be abusers. We can mitigate all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, the secular world might not appre appreciate that approach to eliminating the Me Too issue, but from a Christian perspective, we can raise children to have an amazingly godly foundation mm -hmm. for their marriage by calling them to and, and, and assisting them with the community, with their, with their youth group, mm -hmm. to sexual purity. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be happy <laughs> if their spouse or if they cheat on their spouse. Yeah. If, yeah. So money, money, sex, and in-laws are the three. And, and the money thing is, and we talked about a little bit of that in another episode, but you know, t teach them where to go to get money. Right, you know where to go to get money? You go to work. Yeah, yeah exactly, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and when you go to work and you get money, you tithe. Mm -hmm. And you give that 10% to the Lord right off the bat. And then with the rest, you, can, you have savings and you have spending. And the earlier we teach our children about money, uh, they're gonna, uh, and as they hear these magic words in our mm -hmm. home, the, the, the best words any parent can ever give their, their children about money is, we can't afford it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are great words, especially for pastors, because usually we can't afford it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's, yeah, you can easily say it. Yeah, but <laughs> we, we as parents, and especially as dads, feel like failures where we say we can't afford it. Yeah. But let's face it, the, nobody in the world can afford everything. Mm -hmm. There's always somebody with a bigger yacht. True. You know, bigger than yours. It's true. Definitely bigger than mine. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Mine's a picture on the and wall. And why don't you have a bigger yacht? Because you can't afford it. Absolutely. And when, and when we, we can get comfortable and peace with that, that God will provide us everything we need, mm -hmm. not everything that we can lust after. Yes. Right, and then men don't feel like total failures when their, you know, wives are like, "Can't we get a new one?" And you go, "I wish I made more money. I wish I was a better yeah. husband. I wish I was a better provider for my family." Mm -hmm. So, happiness for our kids, the end game, is going to require that in these days we teach them about purity, so they'll have a great foundation for their lives. That's a good foundation whether you're single or married. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Teach them about money. That's a good foundation for your kids when they grow up, whether they're single or married. Mm. And the last one is in-laws, right? People divorce because of their in-laws, money, sex, and in-laws. And, and, 
And the best way to help your kids deal with their family of origin issues mm -hmm. is that you and Tara deal with your family of origin issues today. Mm -hmm. The more you deal with your family issues, the less family issues you're gonna pass on to them. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the, uh, the commandment of, one of the 10 commandments, right? Mm -hmm. That the sins of the fathers are passed on to the next generation. So let's deal with those things, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, get involved in your church, get involved in your youth, in, in your, in your uh, small group. If you're part of a New Hope Church, get involved in our 911 mm -hmm. plan, which helps sort of deal with a lot of the family of origin stuff. Because as I get that stuff sorted out with God's help, I'm not gonna pass it on to my kids. Yeah. And I'm gonna then actively now do everything I can to lay a great foundation for them to be happy. Mm. It's a lot more work than taking <laughs> them to the movies and buying them popcorn. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> but it'll last the rest of their lives mm. and they'll bless you for it. If you enjoyed mm. this video, be sure to check out the rest of our segments on parenting over on our channel. For the full parenting seminar, click the link in the description.